Reset Box. Fat Sauce! Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Sunday, March 2nd, 2014, and we're honored to have with us today We Were Promised Jetpacks. This song is called Peace Sign and will maybe be on our new album that's out in September or October. Jetpacks on Audio Tree Live. Dudes, uh, thank you so much for coming out on this terribly snowy day out here in Thanks Chicago. Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so my first question, we can go around to anyone who would like to answer. Talk about, um, like, on your bucket list, what is, like, the top thing uh, that you would like to do? Maybe not before you die. Maybe, maybe before you get too old, like, to do it anymore. Go to WrestleMania. WrestleMania? <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you a big wrestling fan that, in general? That's the one thing on my list. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Others? 
I'll go to WrestleMania. <laughs> Not go to WrestleMania. Yeah, there should be a special list. Things you never want to do. I'll go alone. You... I, don't, I don't care. I'll go alone. <laughs> I'd like to work in Cracker Barrel. <laughs> work in... <laughs> Dude, when, when was the first time you saw a Cracker Barrel? Oh, about three or four years ago now. Okay, yeah. yeah. And, yeah, we, we love it. We go every time we come over. Totally. Do you play yeah. that... Um, the the pegs game yeah, or whatever we've the bought it we've all got it in our flats yeah. <laughs> are Everyone you good at it can you win have you yeah. all won it he's never won it yeah the drummer's, drummer's like, no. that. I've done it once he you struggles. have okay. he struggles with things like that did you do it alone though that's like the first time I won was by myself <laughs> no, and I was so pissed he's just got this little thing where he just makes up stories about <laughs> oh, okay. it the whole time <laughs> My favorite part as a as a there are ton of them in Oklahoma, which is where I lived for a while, and there are um like the rocking chairs out front. When I was a kid, I just would sit in that thing forever. That's like the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Anyone else? Bucket list stuff, you guys? That's for everyone covered. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Prove to everyone that he did win it, I think is uh, is cool. Um, you guys can go into uh, your next set. Okay. I think we'll just go straight into this one.
Audio Tree Live with We Were Promised Jetpacks. Come on. Thanks, dudes. That was uh, awesome. That, <laughs> that was really awesome. Seriously. Um, before you go into your last track, could you share with me a little bit about um, kind of like the rating of success of a band in Scotland or maybe in the UK versus the US? Um, along the lines of like in the US, I think it's a big deal when you get a European tour. You know, it's like it's like you've broken out of the US. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, is it the same way for for you guys, or or is there a differing thing with that? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. I think that is is the case. But our, our label, Fat Cat, that we signed with, when we signed to them in the UK, we signed to the US label. Okay. So straight away they were kind of it was kind of one thing. Yeah. Which we we didn't really expect to happen. Sure. But like the first big tour we did was over in the states. Okay. So that's been quite normal for us. Yeah. Uh, but I think it is quite difficult. I'm glad we did that. We came out with uh, Frightened Rabbit and Twilight Sad. Sure. So we had that Scottish indie, you know, star. Yeah. You know, it really yeah. helped us. Uh, I think that is the case for, for most bands. Peter, what do you think? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> Hello, Peter. <laughs> um, no, well, there's, there's loads of big bands back in the UK who play huge arenas and stuff, and then they come over here and they don't play yeah. anything. Yeah. So I think it's, yeah, it's, it's really good to get, get a sort of jump into the US from the beginning. Sure, I know that, I've maybe I said this earlier, but I saw Biffy Clyro at this like 150 cap venue and I was into them for a while and then I saw a video of them headlining Leeds or something and I was like, wait a minute, there were 300,000 people watching them and I saw them with 100 who like didn't even know who they were. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah kind of like backwards totally, you yeah. know. Um, when you're sort of like hoofing it or whatever, you know, playing uh, small bars and that kind of thing, starting out in Scotland, like is moving outside of, of Scotland a huge deal or is that, or is the UK, like can you transfer between um, pretty easily? I, I guess I don't understand the flow of, of that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can. I mean, London is about a nine hour drive from okay. us in Scotland. So you can, we can do a show there, you know, drive down on the day. Yeah. So it's a lot easier to get everywhere like because the country is so huge. Sure. You know, we, we can't do it everywhere over here yeah but you could in the uk okay and um, but it's probably best not to yeah <laughs> yeah probably don't oh, do yeah. that but if you <laughs> and obviously denser population in a lot of those places yeah. so there's i mean it's more more like the east coast you know yeah. as far as how many cities are next to each other nothing like going to wyoming all the way out to yeah. california or anything yeah. like that yeah when we were starting out we used to just play edinburgh and glasgow the two big cities in scotland okay. all the time and one of the best things we did was just to stop playing there all the time yeah you know and try and get out of that yeah. That uh, thing. And yeah, we did that. And it's, uh. Cool. Yeah, I guess you can like saturate the market too much or whatever. No yeah. one comes out to the show. So, yeah, like, well, yeah. they're here a week ago. They'll be back in yeah, a week yeah. or something. Yeah, cool. Um, you guys can go into your last track. Okay. The song is from our second album. It's called A Boy in the Back Seat. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. We were promised jetpacks on Audio Tree Live. You guys are so good at like keeping in a riff or a groove and then still allowing it to move, um, to have a lot of dynamic in it, which I love. It's, yeah, really awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, I wanted you to talk about that uh, live album in Philly, just real quick, promote sure. it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, we did it at the end of a tour, so we had plenty of time to practice. Cool. And uh, we felt Philly was a nice place to do it. It was a really nice venue, Union Transfer. And uh, we got our live sound engineer, Andrew Bush, who recorded our second album. He mixed it, so Sweet. it sounds pretty much as close as a live show can. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it's, it came out a few days ago. Um, it's got 13, 14 songs. Cool. And I think you get a download code for a, bit, uh, a kind of mini documentary thing. It's like an hour, it shows us playing some songs and uh, some other footage of Sean fixing Peter's hair. <laughs> and some other cute And some other like cute, yes, yeah, to totally cute. Yeah. <laughs> Great, thank you, awesome. Uh, and then they're on a US tour uh, all the way through March and a little bit longer, and they're playing tonight at Lincoln Hall, um, if you're in the Chicago area or whatever. So um, thanks again to the band for coming out. Um, thanks so much to Emperor Cabs and the Music Garage. Goose Island, awesome people in the studio, beautiful sound engineers, camera and lighting crew in here hooking us up, and viewers, support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a little bit, and send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect from all of us here at the studio. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Come on. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Woo-woo! Sweet. <laughs>